Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make your own fish-shaped outdoor birdhouses. Now these birdhouses are crafted uh, from an outdoor water-resistant paper mache. We start the process uh, by using foam insulation. Now I've taken two small pieces and I've actually glued them together with a hot glue gun. I drew out the basic uh, fish shape, basically just the head of the fish, onto that styrofoam. And I'm just using a long serrated kitchen knife uh, to slowly carve away the excess material. You can use that same kitchen knife uh, to, show, uh, to start to shape that fish, you know, to angle it inward so that you're going to round off all of the edges. And when you're doing this, you have to remember that you really want to end up um, with this foam being a little bit smaller than you want the actual birdhouse uh, shape to be because we are going to add the paper mache and the mortar mix to this. It's a little messy, put down some cardboard or a piece of plywood, uh, but it really does not take very long at all uh, to cut out uh, the fish's head. We're going to leave uh, the fins, the dorsal fin and the tail uh, to be made separately. And I've, I've actually just cut these out of hardy backer, which is a cement board uh, with a wet tile saw. Cut out the tail fin, the dorsal fin, uh, and also the pectoral fin out of hardy board. Hardy board is really nice to use for the uh, outdoor projects because it is very water resistant. And I'm just going to make a slit uh, in that styrofoam for each one of those fins. It doesn't have to fit perfectly. We're going to fix up all those little voids with the paper mache mix. Once all of those fins are fitted, so they each have their own corresponding slot. I'm going to hold them in position just temporarily uh, with some glue from a hot glue gun. So this is the basic form uh, that we're going to use to paper mache. The one last piece of, of hardy backer I'm using on the back of the fish. Now notice that there's only um, you know, one fin on each side of the fish. The back is basically left flat. This is where this particular birdhouse is going to mount to the tree. That hardy backer gives us a, a better surface to screw through. I'm then going to take the entire uh, fish and uh, kind of impale it on, uh, on three wooden dowels. And I'm even going to use another piece of that same styrofoam as a stand. I've chopped a little hole where the eye is going to be, and I'm just going to use a piece of PVC. This one's one inch diameter for small uh, finches that we have in this area, but you could use a larger diameter to get a larger hole, and that's going to be the entrance into the birdhouse. Now we're going to start the paper mache mix. Now this is not standard paper mache. Instead of using, uh, you know, flour or water, um, I'm going to use a mortar mix. But I'm not going to use any mortar. I'm going to use something called Flex Bond, and it's a little bit, um, you know, more resistant, more durable. It's going to hold up uh, against cracks. Regular standard newspaper mixed with that uh, Flex Bond, and it's a kind of a watery mix. And you're going to apply it just like you would paper mache. Uh, going to completely saturate each piece of newspaper. Uh, make sure that it's coated on both sides. And we are going to want to make sure that we overlap each of those um, fins from the, you know, made from the hardy board, from the hardy board. And this way, it all becomes, you know, one unit. The entire shell of the fish uh, merged right into each one of the fins. Once it's all uh, coated with the paper mache mix, you can give it another coat with a paintbrush with that same. Um, mortar mix. And you can note that I've rolled up some paper and made the um, the lips protrude a little bit and, and the gills protrude and also gave it a ring around the eye. And the holes from the stakes that we used are going to be the drainage holes. So you have to let this completely dry. Once it's dry, then we can work on getting rid of the foam uh, from the inside of that fish. And for this process, we're going to use acetone. Make sure you use a glass container. Um, acetone would certainly eat through some plastics, or styrofoam, definitely. 
and you're going to want to pour a little bit uh, into or through the eye opening of the birdhouse and you have to it will immediately start to dissolve that styrofoam as it dissolves the styrofoam start to add a little bit more you will have to do a couple of baths with this um, you'll have to rinse it around or swish it around on the inside but this mix is um, going to turn that styrofoam into a liquid and then that liquid will pour right out either through the eye hole or through the drainage holes from the stakes uh, while we were making the fish, the bottom of the fish. Acetone evaporates very quickly. So once you make sure that all uh, of the styrofoam is out, is has dissolved, give it a rinse with water on the inside, uh, set it aside for a day and let it dry. I just put it in the boiler room of my house, it dries a little bit faster, and then it's ready for paint. Now you really want to coat the entire outside surface with a good exterior uh, grade paint. Um, and then, of course, you paint it uh, however artistically you want to, whatever colors you want to. Um, I'm not very artistic. I just went with blue, white, and black. And really, I copied, I, I printed a picture off the internet, and I kind of copied their design. But anyway, that exterior paint is really going to give it a nice seal um, and protect that paper mache from being in contact uh, with the elements with water. Once uh, the paint is dry, this fish or this birdhouse is ready to be mounted in any tree. Really a very easy, simple to make project. And they come out really, really nice. You could have a school of fish uh, swimming around your tree. Please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to projects. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel.